glasses to ensure proper lens placement within the frame. Cause come on, we all want to look this good. As I mentioned earlier, opticians generally don't like to give you your PD, because this encourages you to go with other sources, like the internet, where you can save at least half the price on a beautiful pair of spectacles. So the national average for PD for men is 63 millimeters, the national average for women is 60 millimeters, but last time I went outside I noticed not everybody is the same size. Because of this, it's good to have the exact measurement so you can have the exact fit. It's pretty simple. So there's a few easy ways you can measure your PD at home. First, all you need is a mirror, which I never get tired of looking at, and a ruler, which I never get tired of using. Yes, I'm back in my chair for this narration. Place your mirror about one arm length from where you stand. Check your hair if necessary. Take your millimeter ruler and place it directly over the bridge of your nose with the zero over one of your pupils. The number that you see over the other pupil is your pupillary distance. Record this number and repeat as many times as necessary to ensure accuracy. So if you don't have a mirror on hand, which generally doesn't happen to me, but you know, it might come up, it's good to call in a friend. Fortunately, I have a producer who I consider a very good friend. Ah. I'm not really sure if she considers me a friend, but... <laughs> um, can we go to the next clip now? Hi, friend! I'm not your friend. I'm the producer. Have your friends sit at least one arm length apart. Have them take the ruler, place it again over the bridge of your nose with the zero over one of your pupils. The other number over the other pupil is your pupillary distance, and again, record this number and repeat 